Hello everyone, it's Darlette, Scrap Happens here with Tuesday's Tip. I have been playing with the Gentle Waves stamp set and I just wanted to show you how you can create beautiful water and beautiful sunsets with it. I made a card for a tutorial group that I'm in and it includes the new um, Waves Suite. I'm, I'm, Waves of Inspiration is the name of that stamp set. And I've done a beautiful card with that that I'll be sharing with you in a few days. But today I just wanna show you how to use this Gentle Waves stamp set. And I incorporated it with the Inspiration, um, Waves of Inspiration stamp set. Um, but that's coming in the future. So today I just wanted to show you real quickly the, what you can do with this stamp set. You can see the waves the lines. I want to play with it and make sand and I think it'll make really beautiful um, desert. Do you see desert in there? I think it'll make really beautiful green hills and stuff. So, But today I'm just doing sunset and um, ocean or water. So here's a few things that I've played with. The card turned out really beautiful but I'm not going to show you that today. But let me show you how I did it. So I have a piece of three and three quarters by five piece of the thick basic white cardstock. And I have my stamp set right here. And I like this, um, this image. This is a good detail image and I'll show you how I use that. But I'm gonna start with this one. And first I'm gonna do my water. I have Knight of Navy. Oh wait, no, I don't wanna start with Knight of Navy. The colors I have though are Knight of Navy, Pacific Point, and Coastal Cabana. And so what I wanna do is I wanna start with my Coastal Cabana. Oops, the paper stuck to my block. And I only wanna go about a little bit more than halfway up. So there you have that, the Coastal Cabana. Next I'm gonna add some Pacific Point. Oh, I don't like it when it does those lines, so I'm gonna kinda twist it. Whoops. <laughs> and I'm just gonna barely tap it. Add a little more color. Now I'm gonna finish the end of it. I'm just gonna put some Knight of Navy right on the bottom. And I'm gonna add a little more and try to get it just right on the bottom. This is a little messy doing it this way. Your fingers get really messy. But there, isn't that beautiful water? Now I wanna show you how I'm gonna add some detail to it with this part of the stamp set. I think you can see the lines, the difference here. I'm gonna I'm adding some Pacific Point. I think Bermuda Bay would really be pretty. You could do um, Knight of Navy too. Ah! And then you can see the waves in there. I'm gonna grab a white that I have right here handy. And I'm gonna show you how I did. my sunset, how I did my sunset. Okay, I'm gonna move this aside. And on this one, I'm gonna use that same, the same I used for the ocean to begin with. I am going to add some polished pink ink. And then I have some Mango Madness, and I'm just gonna add it right over the polished pink, just barely tapping it. And then I have some Pumpkin Pie, and just 
add a little bit of that as well. And then I can kind of see where my line is for my water. And I'm just gonna lay it right on there. If you have a brayer, you could use a brayer to roll it and then your, your fingers won't get inky and do that. But that's okay because that's the back of it and it just won't matter. Okay, so I didn't, didn't do a really good job on that. <laughs> Cut a little too much orange of the pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna add a little more pink of the polished pink. And I don't want all those lines that were in it. See how those lines, um, I'm gonna add some, even some more. And that's because when I stamped it, I touched it too hard, so it left those lines of the stamp set. But I can kind of fix it. See, that's some good color. And I can fix it by adding that detail part of the wave, these lines, these lines. And then I inked it up with the pumpkin pie. And then I added some detail to that. Now, I might not use this piece as a rectangle because I do have those lines, but I could cut a circle out of it and then it would just, it, none of those lines would be in there. You can also just make your, ah, you can also just stamp it right onto your circle. And this I'm just gonna do one little tap of the pumpkin pie because that's gonna just fit that area of the circle. I have to push hard because of these tables, I needed to get a board, a piece of wood to put under it. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna wipe that off. I think before I do the water, I will add a little more of the polished pink. Melon Mambo is a good color to use, and it's a little darker, so it might, it'll show through a little better, through the orange. But I kind of like the, the look of that for the project that I have coming up, that you'll be seeing soon. <laughs> um, and next I'm gonna do my water. And you can actually see those lines. That's why I don't want those lines. So kind of twist it. That's why I had those lines. I'm gonna have some more here too. I think I'll just kind of dab it. And you know what, I actually did that all backwards. Oh, what a waste of ink. <laughs> because I'm gonna lay that circle on this pad, so um, I need to do my Calypso Coral ink. My, so this is gonna be the top, because I'm gonna put it there. Does that make sense? I'm gonna lay it that way, so this will be the top. And so I want my the darker colors to go more further down. And this part isn't gonna matter because it's not gonna touch. You could also get some um, you know the little tabs, the little sticky tabs? And put where your lines are so you could line it up better. I should have done that. That's how I've been doing it. Um, but I lined that up pretty good. So there's my water. And then I'm gonna go ahead and 
add some detail to my water. Oops, I got some in the sky, but that's okay because I'm going to go back and I'm going to add some details to my sky as well. This is super fun to do, super messy. So I guess if you had gloves, you could wear gloves, but I can't work with that with gloves. It drives me crazy. I can't dig in the dirt with gloves either. <laughs> I have to feel what I'm doing, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to take my pumpkin pie and add some detail to the sky. There you have it. Isn't it pretty? It's such a fun stamp set. Um, be looking for more, like I said, uh, meadows, sand at the beach, and even desert, I think. So I have lots of things going on in my brain, um, but not enough time to get it all done today because I'm going down the mountain to take my mother-in-law to get a mammogram and we're gonna leave in about half an hour. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now. Have a fantastic day. If you like what you saw and you want more inspiration, go to my blog, Scrap Happens Here with Darla.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And if you don't wanna miss another video, hit subscribe so you um, will get them once a week. And sometimes I do random ones, but um, for sure once a week. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a great day, and I'll see you next week with Tuesday's Tip.